what's going on gang welcome to your fourth python 3 tutorial and in this video we're going to talk about strings all right then so we've taken a look at numbers now it's time for the second data type which is strings so what are strings basically they're just a sequence of characters so a sentence or a word and we store them in either double quotes or single quotes so for example double quotes hello this is a string and we can do this in single quotes as well that is the same string these are essentially the same thing right except if we start in single we have to end in single if we start in double we have to end in double so what if we wanted to type a sentence like he's a madman well let's try this in single quotes he's a mad man okay now we get an error and that's because of this apostrophe in he's so this thing right here is closing the string we open it there we close it here so the string is just he and then we've got these random letters afterwards that python doesn't know what to do with because they fall outside of the string so we get an error how do we get around something like this well we can just add them into double quotes instead so we could say he's a madman in double quotes now we don't get an error because this single apostrophe is not cancelling out this thing right here we're not ending the string because if you start in double you have to end in double right so that's one way around the other way around is to escape a certain character we can escape this character to say to python we don't want this to cancel the string we want this to be in the string so single quotes then he then we do a backslash this is how we escape a character the character we want to escape comes after that which is the apostrophe then we just carry on as normal he's a mad man close the string now it's fine okay now we get that string Okay, so I said basically strings are just a sequence of characters, a list of characters, if you like. And we can access the different characters in that string based on the position that we want. So, for example, position three, right? The third element in the string. In hello, it would be L, right? Now, here's the thing. In Python, we always start at zero. So the first one right here is not position one, it's position zero. Then it's one, then two, three, four. That's just the way we work with things in Python. So if I wanted to get the first element in here, in this string, let's store one in a variable first of all. We'll say greet equals hello, right? So there's the string and we're storing it in this variable. Now, if I wanted to get the first letter in this string, I could say greet, then we use square brackets notation. Now, if you've used JavaScript in the past, this is a bit like array syntax if you want to get a certain element out of an array. Python is quite similar in that respect. So if I want to get the first element, remember, it's zero based. So the first one is in position zero. Then I click enter and we get the H. If I want to get the next one, I could say greet one, right? And we get the E, etc. Now, I can also work backwards. So if I want to start here, then I can use minus. So this is minus one, minus two minus three, minus four, minus five. So if I say greet and then minus one, then I get O or greet minus five and I should get the first one, which is H, cool. So minus works backwards and then we start from zero to go forwards. Now we can also slice strings. How do we slice them and what does slice mean? Well, slice basically means we want to slice it up into different sections and we want to take one certain slice out of the string. So say I want to slice this string so that I just get hell without the L-O at the end. So what I can do is say greet, then the square brackets again. Now to slice something, I give it a start point and an end point. So we want to start at zero and that's inclusive of zero. And then we say colon to say where we want to go up to. And we want to go up to three, which is this character right here. But we don't include that one. OK, we're just going up to position three. So zero, one, two, three, the second L, but we don't include that in the slice. So Python does not include this third position. This one is inclusive, the start point. This one is non-inclusive. So enter, we get hell. Okay, so we could also do this from the back. We could say something like greet, and then we could say, oops, square brackets, um, minus one, two, I don't know, two. What's that gonna do? Well, it gets us an empty string. So we can't go from minus right here minus one and go forwards around right but what we can do is something like this we can say greet and we can say two to minus one and this is going to get us these two things right here so the 
position two element, which is this, zero, one, two, and then minus one is the O, so it goes up to minus one, but not inclusive of it, and we get double L, all right? So we can use all different ways to kind of slice this string, but this does not change the actual original variable, okay? If we want to change it, same as numbers, we have to reassign it. So I could say greet is equal to greet, and then slice it, say, from zero to three, and that will change it now. But otherwise, if we just use greet and slice on its own, then it doesn't change it. Okay, let's change this back now to equal hello. Okay, now let's do another string. I'm just going to call this uh, str2, and I'm going to call this dudes. Now, what if we want to add two strings together? Well, this is called concatenation, and we do it using the plus sign. So I can say something like this, greet plus str2 and we're going to get hello dudes right so it's taken this string and attached it to this string so this one comes after because this is after in the equation now there's no space because we've got no spaces in either string but we could attach some kind of space if we wanted to we could concatenate that too we could say greet plus and then a string which is just a space then plus str2 as well then we get the space in between okay let's do something else let's have a look at multiplication now you might think that's just some maths, but we can also multiply strings, which sounds a little bit weird at first. But basically what this does is just kind of repeat a string. So if I say something like greet times three, that is going to take that string and repeat it three times next to each other. Greet times five, it's going to do it five times, etc. All right. All right then, so that's the basics of strings. Now let's have a look at some of the methods that strings have. Remember, everything is an object in Python. Strings are an object and they have methods. So say we make, I don't know, a new sentence. Or in fact, let's just stick with this greet for now. Say I want to turn it into uppercase. We can use a method from the string object to do that. We can say greet. And the way we use a string method is by saying dot, right? So any string method, we can use on a string by saying the string and then dot what the method name is called. And the method is called upper. So we invoke that with the parenthesis and what this is gonna do is turn that string into uppercase. Again, it's not gonna affect the actual original variable. That's still lowercase, okay? So we have to reassign if we want to do that. So greet equals greet dot upper. That is gonna reassign it and turn it into uppercase. Cool. What else can we do? We can split a string. So let's create a new string called cheeses, and these are gonna be my favorite cheeses. Brie, cheddar, in fact, cheddar is not one of my favorite cheeses, but whatever, Stilton is a good one. Anyway, there's three cheeses, right? So just a list of those in a string. Now, say we want to split this string up into its individual elements, and say we want to split it wherever there's a comma. We can use a method called split on the string. So I can say cheeses.split, and where do we want to split? Then we pass an argument in to say where we want to split the, uh, the string into individual elements. We want to do it every time there's a comma. So now we get Brie, Cheddar, Stilton in some kind of list. Now I've not seen lists just yet, but this is what the split method does and we'll see lists later on. So there's a couple of different methods and there's tons of different methods out there for strings. It would be impossible to cover them all in this tutorial, but we are gonna be using different ones as we go through this series as well. One more thing I wanna show you is how to find out the length of a string, how many elements are in it or characters are in it. So greet right here, that is hello currently. And we can see there's five letters in it, but if this was a huge string and we wanted to know how many letters were in it, we could say something like greet, or rather, first of all, len, which is just a standard function in Python. Then we pass in the string as an argument. So greet, and that gives us five. So that tells us the length of that string, how many characters are in it, okay? So there we go. That is strings in a nutshell. Like I said, we're going to be using them much more as we go along and create programs out of them. But uh, for now, that will do us. In the next tutorial, what I want to do is move on to the next data type, which is lists.